Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, Mega Crasher is here, and we're on Pokemon Showdown, and we're going to be having another live session. Woo! Now, we're going to be doing something that I haven't yet featured on this channel, and that is going to be Smogon Triples. Now, as you see right here, I happen to have a Trick Room team that is built around Cradley. Yes, Cradley. You know, Pokemon that nobody likes, as in, it is all the way down in the depths of NU. But you see, it's one of my favorite third generation Pokemon, and if you use it correctly, it can actually be pretty damn good. I love Cradley, I mean, its design is amazing. And its stats and typing, I just love its stats and typing, and its ability, woo! Storm Drain, baby, for the win. So, with that being said, how about we jump into our first battle? I'll be right back once we commence in it. All right, ladies and gents, we are back with our first battle, woo! And let's see what we got here. We got Shedinja, we got Steelix, Carbink, and... Are those fucking level 50s right there? Are you serious? Oh my god, no, that's not a fair battle, dude. Fuck, man. <laughs> well, anyways, he's got a level 50 Cresselia, a level 50 Greninja, and a level 50 Audino. Now, it's a possibility that it could be either Mega Steelix or Mega Audino. So, let me see here. I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to lead with. I'm going to lead with Mr. Mime. Cradley and Aroma TSA, baby! Woo! We're about to see Cradley shine, baby. We're about to see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steelix, all that good stuff. Yeah, okay. So, let's see here. Let's go for... What I'm going to do is I'm going to be going for Wide Guard. I'm going to go Swords Dance. And I'm going to go Trick Room, baby! Here we go. Oh, yeah. Come on, let's get this set up. Let's get this set up. I'm excited to see this strategy go down. I am so excited. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's Mega! What the fuck? All right, here we go. An Acrobax. Yeah, that's not going to do that much. And he's got a Totemize. What the fuck? And a ro Wow. I, th these level 50s are doing absolutely nothing to me. So, let's go for... Wide Guard again. Let's go for Earthquake. And... Um... Fuck it. Let's go Protect. <laughs> okay. This is going to be interesting. I mean, it's already an unfair battle because he's got three level 50s on there. I really, really didn't want the battle to be like that, you know? So, Earthquake, Wide Guard, Wide Guard. They're protected. Oh, shit! There we go. Greninja's down. And that Moonblast's still not going to do a thing. And Crunch and... Why not use a Steel-type move, bro? Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Wow. Um. Okay. Okay. What's uh? <laughs> what's the opponent gonna do? <sighs> I hate when that happens, though, man. When you're when you're laddering up, and then you come across uh, battles like these, in which uh, they have Pokemon that either uh, have really bad move sets, uh, or really bad EV spreads, or if their levels are fucking mismatched, you know, like if they have. If they're level 50 instead of level 100. Okay. Um, let me see here. I'm going to keep spamming Wide Guard. And I'm actually going to go for Rock Slide to get rid of the Cresselia. And I'm going to go for Moonblast onto the Steelix. So let's do this. That's going to do a little bit of damage. And Rock Slide, though. Whoa! Ho -ho! Yeah, baby! And we got a bonus flinch. And that crunch, still not going to do that much. I mean, Cradley is naturally bulky as it is. I mean, damn, son. And we got Audino. We got fucking Audino. So now I can actually just start spamming Earthquake. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so... Let's go Moonblast onto the Steelix. Alright. I'm 
I'm just waiting, son. I'm just waiting. Oh, yeah. I consider this my pre-workout before my pre-workout to the gym. I'm I'm pumped up to go to the gym too, man. Burn off some more cardio. Oh man. And drain punch that does nothing to me, bro. But you just got Rocky helmet in the face. That earthquake. Oh, -hoo -hoo! yeah, buddy. There we go. And all he's got left is that shit, Inja. Yeah, Shed Ninja. So, um, let me see here. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and switch into Sylveon. Going to go for the Rock Slide. And, well, he's got the, uh, the Wonder Guard, so only Rock Slide's going to be able to hurt it. So, might as well switch out in case he's got the Sash. Yeah, there we go. Rock slide. Oh! There we go. And he left. Alright. Well, that battle was... Oh, man. I can't really say I was happy with that battle, to be quite honest with you. I mean, if he had all level 100 Pokemon, that would have been different. But three of his Pokemon are level 50. They were fucking under level. That's not cool, man. Not, not cool. So, let's see if we can make up for some... Uh, lost ground with another battle. I'll be right back once we commence in one. All right, we're back with battle number two. And what I mean by lost ground is I'm talking about uh, the lost ground when it comes to fairness. I felt like it was not a fair battle. So this battle here, we have a fair battle because now we got all level 100. So let's see what the opponents got. We got Blaziken, Charizard, Venusaur, Mew, Thunderous, and Swampert. Okay. So, let me see here. Let me see. Alright. Uh, huh. Well, I think I know exactly what I need to do. Let's go Mr. Mime, Cradily, and Aromatisse! Yeah! Oh, we got Mew, we got Swampert, and we got the Thundee. We got the Thundee! Oh shit, here we go, baby. So I think what I need to do is I'm going to go for Follow Me, I'm going to go for Sword Dance, and I'm going to go for Trick Room! Here we go. So what's going to happen? What is the opponent going to do? Oh, man. This, this, this is, like, I, I love triple battles because it's like, you got six Pokemon on the field at the same time. Half of the teams are just there, right then and there. They're just ready to go, staring each other down. What does Anthony have up his sleeve? What does he have up his sleeve? Oh, we got Follow Me. Oh, we got Top and Aromaville, bitch! Woo! Oh, man. Earthquake, though. Oh! Shit, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Alright. Alright. Okay. So, let me see here. This situation here, I'm gonna go for Wide Guard. I'm gonna go for Rock Slide. And I'm gonna go for Heal Pulse onto the Cradley. Because he took a lot of damage. Mew with that Reflect, though, that's going to be pretty fucking annoying. Because that cuts the uh, a, the uh, physical damage of the moves in half. Heal Pulse. There we go, baby. And Rock Slide, though. Woo! It missed! Oh, but what a shot on the Thunderous! And the Wilt! Fuck, man! What the hell? Oh my god, that animation for, thun for Thunderbolt, though! Are you serious? Woohoohoo! Oh my god! Oh, shit! Oh, man, that's amazing. All right, all right. I'm uh, I'm pretty fucking excited right now. I'm pretty excited. Let's go for Bug Bite onto the Venusaur. And let's go for another Rock Slide. And let's go for a Moon Blast onto the Mew. 
There we go. We got some good damage going off in that rock slide, though. Oh, man. Oh, he missed. Are you fucking serious? But that bug bite, though, is going to take out the Venusaur. There we go. And Will-O-Wisp. And he burns my Aromatisse. That Thunderbolt animation, though, that's fucking sick. Woo! Oh! Yes! <laughs> oh my god. I, I love these animations! They're so good! They're so fucking dope! <laughs> oh my god. I feel like I'm a fucking kid at a candy store, okay? I feel like I'm a kid at a fucking candy store. This is amazing! <laughs> oh god. Alright. So we got Charizard up in this. So we need we need to go for that rock slide. And let's go for Heal Pulse onto the Cradle. Even though it's burned, it's still somewhat fat. Oh, shit. Oh, man. He's got Protect. Damn, son. And it, and it missed again. That, another Rock Slide missed. But that Swampert is tanking it up. But that Bug Bite, though, that's going to do some damage. Oh, but it flinched. And he's got Light Screen now. Are you serious with me? Shit. All right. So, let me see, let me see, let me see! Let's go for Bug Bite on the Swampert. Let's go for the Rock Slide. And let's go for... Let's go for Moonblast. Because that Mew is fucking annoying. Oh, he switches out and goes into the Blaze! We got the Blaze in the house! There we go, we're going to get some damage off. And Bug Bite! Oh, he still hangs on, man! And another flinch! And another flinch! A double flinch! Yes! Oh, oh yeah, baby! Oh, man, this is good. This is good right now. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> shit. All right. Uh, well, actually, shit, Trick Room ran off. So let's go for Protect. Let's go for Protect. And let's go for Trick Room, baby! Let's see it. Let's see this go down. I'm excited. Let's see this go down. Yep. Protect. That's fine. Protect. Protect. Ice Beam. Not gonna do a thing. An Earthquake, though. Oh, man. And no! No! Oh, my God, no! Shit, that was not cool. Ugh. Oh, but wait, did Mew just go down? What the fuck? Alright, alright. <laughs> alright, let's go into Sylveon now. Oh, we got Charizard. Alright. So, we're gonna have to go for... Bug Bite. Onto... Pretty much anything. Now let's go for the Rock Slide. And let's go for Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice is gonna do a fucking number... Oh, we got Drought! We got Mega Charizard Y! Oh, man, that's ugly damage right there! And Heat Wave, though! Man, that's a lot of damage! And Rock Slide! Oh my god, don't flinch, don't flinch! Yes! 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 Okay, can Cradle- Can Cradley hang on? Oh! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, but Cradley now goes down! Shit! Okay. I think- I think we got this. I mean, this is a fucking tight as hell battle, but I think we might got this. I think we might got have this right here. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I think it's pretty much academic at this point. High jump kick! That's gonna do a lot of damage! That Thunderbolt with a sick as hell animation! And that was G to the G! That was G to the G, and... Oh my fucking god, did we... We just took someone down that was one point away from 1,400! Oh, yes, baby! That was a lot of points. Damn! Oh, my God. Oh, wow. All right. You know what? Let's go ahead and look for one more battle. We won two battles. Let's see if we can make it three for three, baby! Okay, we are finally back, and we are back with battle number three. My god, I waited almost 15 minutes for a fucking battle, man. What the fuck? Alright, so let's see what we got going on here. So we got Greninja, we got Talonflame, Togekiss, Metagross, Umbreon, and Charizard. Okay. <laughs> so let me see here. What should we do? Well, 
Let me see. I think I'm going to go for Mr. Mime. I think I'm actually going to go with Sylveon. And Aroma Tisse. Let's do this. Berry Spam for the win, baby. Here we go. We got Greninja. We got Talonflame. And we got Toga Kiss. Here we go. Okay. So, right off the bat, I think I'm going to go for a Quick Guard. I'm going to go for Hyper Voice. And I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for the Trick Room. I'm going to go for Trick Room. Let's do this. I'm excited. Here we go. Oh, he's Swords Dancing up. And Map Block. What the hell? Oh, he got changed into a Fighting type. All right. Oh, my God. The Shadow Ball lowers down that Special Defense. And that Map Block completely blocks my Hyper Voice. No! Shit. All right. That's not cool, man. That's not cool. So we'll go for another Quick Guard. We'll go for another Hyper Voice. And we'll go for a Moon Blast. Go for a Moon Blast on Talonflame. Oh, we got Fly. And he missed. What the fuck? But that Hyper Voice, so it's going to blow back Greninja. And it's going to do quite the amount of damage to Togekiss. And Dazzling Gleam, though. That's going to do some damage. All right. Okay. This is going to be interesting now. Oh, we got the Metagross. Oh, shit. Here we go. Oh, no. Okay. So, I'm going to go for another Quick Guard. I'm going to go for a sh Shadow Ball. Right onto Metagross's butt. Well, actually, you know what? No, no, no. No, no, no. I got a better idea. I'm going to go for Quick Guard. And I'm actually going to switch Sylveon out into Scizor. And I'm also going to be switching Aromatisse out into Mega Ampharos. Because I do not want Metagross to obliterate my fucking team. And that's full- Oh! There we go, baby! And Meteor Mash! And it missed! There we go! Shit, son! Yeah! All right, all right, here we go. So, let's go for... Let's go for another Quick Guard. Let's go for a... Let's go for a Bullet Punch onto the Togekiss. And let's Mega Evolve this bitch and go for Thunderbolt on the Talonflame. Let's go, baby! Here we go, here we go. Oh, he's Mega Evolved! Here we go! Here we go! This is interesting! Oh! -ho! But let's see, though! The Thunderbolt blows that Talon Flame! Hell yeah! And that Aura Sphere, that's gonna do some damage! And that Earthquake, though, that's gonna do some damage, too! Oh! -ho -ho! Fucking obliterated! And here comes the Umbreon! Okay, here comes the fucking Umbreon, bro! Here it comes! So, I think at this point, I could go for a... I could go for a Wide Guard here, because he's going to Earthquake. And I'm going to go for a... I'm going to go for, actually, a Bug Bite onto the Metagross, because this thing is going to be fucking annoying. So, I think Bug Bite and Thunderbolt on the Mega Metagross can take it out. So, he's got Detect going on, that's fair. But I'm triple... Oh! There we go! Woo! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Mega Metagross has been taken the fuck down. And the Twisted Dimensions have been returned to normal! Oh, shit. Here we go. Okay. Alright. So, let's see if we can go for another Wide Guard. Because I'm anticipating that this Charizard's got Heat Wave. Let's go for a Bullet Punch onto the Togekiss. And let's go for a Thunderbolt right on the Charizard! Yeah, buddy! Woo! Bullet Punch! Taken the fuck down, son! And of course, Scizor gets taken down, but the Flare Blitz not gonna do that much damage to the- Oh man, the Toxic is going to be really annoying, but that Thunderbolt takes down the Charizard! Oh shit! And now, now we got Sylveon. I'd say, I'd say it's academic at this point here, man. It's academic at this point, so... Yeah, let's go for Follow Me, let's go for Hyper Voice, and we go for Thunderbolt. And he's got Detect. That's fine. That's fine by me, bro. That's fine. I mean, he's he's not going to be able to live the combination of Thunderbolt and Hyper Voice. 
So let's go for another follow me, another hyper voice, another thunderbolt. On to the Umbreon. Follow me. Toxic. Yep. Okay. Hyper voice. Oh, he hangs out with 50%, but the Thunderbolt's going to be the game, son. Woo! So that's it. That is the fucking game right there. Wow. So we won. We won all three of our games right here. That That's awesome. That is fucking awesome. Number two is a really, really close battle. Oh, my God. Well, that's it, guys. That is it. But we're not done yet. We are not done yet. So let's go to Team Builder because I want to show you guys the team that I have. So this right here, uh, we have the Trick Room team that I was just using. And it is going to be built around Cradley. So we have Leftovers for Passive Recovery. We've got the ability Storm Drain to have a Water-type immunity as long as Cradley is on the field. We got Protect to allow for you to scout. Uh, we have Protect on all the Pokemon with the exception of Mr. Mime here. So we got Source Dance to boost the attack stat by two stages. And we got Rock Slide and Earthquake for some widespread damage and the potential to flinch with Rock Slide too. We got also Speed Minusing Natures on all these Pokemon here. So we got a Brave Nature to increase the attack and we got 252 into the HP, 252 into attack and four into special defense. And even without any investments into the defenses, this thing is really damn bulky. I love Cradley. Like, fuck, man. It's so awesome. So up next, we got Mr. Mime, a.k.a. the only Pokemon without Protect. And it doesn't need Protect, to be quite honest with you, because this thing... <laughs> oh, man. This thing is just so awesome when it comes to the supportive role. Oh, my God. So we got Rocky Helmet to allow for any physical attackers to take... 1-6 damage whenever they make contact with Mr. Mime. We got the ability filter, which allows for super effective hits to be taken down by 25%. That's awesome! And considering that Mr. Mime doesn't have the best stats, it can actually be somewhat decent when it comes to uh, being a uh, being a tanky Pokemon. I mean, you take a look at its base HP. It's base 40, and its base defense is base 65. So, I mean, you could tell that these numbers aren't exactly the best, obviously, but I feel like that Mr. Mime can in fact make it work. So we got the moves Follow Me, which allows for any single type attacks to be directed right to Mr. Mime, uh, which is fucking awesome. We got Wide Guard to protect the team from any widespread damaging moves. Uh, which also includes uh, widespread damaging moves from uh, your own teammates, such as Cradley with his Earthquake. We got Quick Guard to stop any priority attacks from taking place against us, which is really awesome. And we got Thunder Wave to allow for us to cripple any uh, fast attackers should Trick Room uh, no longer be in effect, or if we can't use Trick Room because Roma Tisse is gone. So, the EV spread, we got a relaxed answer to boost that defense. We got 252 EVs into the HP, 252 into defense, and 4 into special defense. And you see right here, I mean, they're not the best numbers, but you take a look, like, these are actually somewhat respectable. I will say they're somewhat respectable. So up next, we got Aroma Tisse, and Aroma Tisse is going to be the trick room setter of this team. So we got safety goggles on Aromatisse, which allows for us to be immune to powder moves and damaging moves from the likes of Sandstorm and Hail. So pretty much spores, sleep powders, forget about it. You're not going to put this thing to sleep. So we got Aroma Veil, which blocks the likes of Taunt, Attract, Disable, Encore, Heal Block, and Torment. And that's just so awesome because this team does require some setup in order for it to function well. So we got Moonblast as its only attacking move, and it still hits pretty hard, base 95, stab, fairy, with a 30% chance to lower that special defense. We got Trick Room to make slower Pokemon move first for 5 turns. We got Heal Pulse to take the percentage of your HP and heal up the opponent's HP. So this, it heals the target's HP by, by 50% of the maximum HP, and considering that Aroma Tisse has 101 base HP. It's going to be bringing back a lot of health. Like, that is amazing. And then lastly, we got Protect because, you know, it's it's a standard... It's standard on uh, any battles that are doubles or triples because the way I see it for doubles and triples, 
although they're two different tiers, I feel like that they have a lot of similarities because you have Pokemon that are running uh, sets that you would run in doubles and really unique EV spreads and all that stuff. And you really got to know how to tap into the supporter roles of each Pokemon to be able to help support each other in order to win the battle. So the EV spread right here, we got a Sassy Nature to boost that special defense up. We got 248 EVs into the HP, 180 into the defense, and 80 into the special defense. You see right here, we got some pretty good mixed bulk right here. I mean, base 72 defense is not the best by any stretch of the imagination, but you know what? It's not bad either. It really isn't. I mean, the thing can take some pretty damn good hits, and... You know what, like, it can fire back somewhat decently on its own. I mean, that base 99 special attack is nothing to scoff at. Even without any investment, I feel like that it's still somewhat of a really good uh, special attacking stat. So coming up next, we got Scizor. And Scizor, oh man, this thing hits so damn hard. We got Life Orb to Boosie. Power of attacks by 30% at the cost of 10% of your health. We got Technician to boost the power of moves that are base 60 power and below by 50%. We got Sword Stance to boost your attack stat by two stages. We got Bullet Punch as our only form of priority and damn good priority at that too because Bullet Punch is Stab. It gets Technician boosted. So it goes from 40 to 60 right off the bat. And then you got Stab which boosts up to base 90 power. And then you got Life Orb which boosts that even further by 30%. And then Swords Dance boosting it. You re only really need a Swords Dance once, and Bullet Punch suddenly becomes a very threatening move. And coming up next, we got Bug Bite, which is also Stab. And what I love about this move is it steals and eats the target's berries. So that means any Citrus Berries, any Lum Berries, forget about it, because all them berries belong to Scizor. And it steals the effect, which is even better. So it could get some free healing up, or it could get a free cure for any status it has, whether it be burned or paralyzed. And it is also technician boosted because it's base 60. It's also stab boosted. And when it gets life orb and sword stance boosted, it is ugly. And then we got protect because protect is just there. It's standard as fuck, but it is absolutely a must have on scissor. So that way it can scout. And then the EV spread. We got a brave nature to increase that attack. And we got 252 HP EVs, 252 attack EVs, and 4 defense EVs. And you see right here. Like, it's still somewhat going to be bulky. I mean, it doesn't have the best special defense, and base 100 defense is somewhat respectable, but the thing is going to be able to take hits and set up, too. So coming up next, we got Sylveon, and Sylveon is what I like to call the counterpart of Scizor. You got a physical attacker, and now you got a special attacker. Well, technically speaking, we got Cradley as, the, as a physical attacker, so you could say that we got two physical attackers. We got Sylveon coming up next. So we got, this is, oh my god, Sylveon, I can't even begin to explain how hyped up I am at how awesome and powerful Sylveon is. I mean, we got Pixie Plate to boost the power of Fairy type moves by 20%. We got Pixelate, which turns normal type moves into Fairy type moves and gives them a 30% boost in power. Not to mention Stab, which is another 50%. My god. Like, the combination of Pixie Plate and Pixelate's effect makes Hyper Voice literally a free choice specs boosted, essentially. It goes from base 90 power to base 140 power. That is amazing. And this thing hits multiple targets too, which is just even better. Like, Hyper Voice, even if it's not very effective, it's still going to be doing quite the number on your opponents because you're going to be chipping away at all three Pokemon's health depending on your position in the battle. But if Hyper Voice doesn't work, we do have Shadow Ball, which smacks any Ghost and Psychic type Pokemon for super effective damage. And then we got Protect, that way we can scout for what the opponents are going to do. And then we got Hidden Power Ground to take care of any Fire or Steel type Pokemon like Heatran that try and wall you for days. And then the EV spread. We got a Quiet Nature, which definitely is going to lower down that speed and increase that special attack. And I have absolutely no idea why we have 31 in the uh, speed IVs. We're 
saying zero. I need to have zero speed IVs, and I'm pretty sure I adjusted it, but I don't know why it went back up to 31. But anyways, so the EV spread right here. We got 252 HP, we got 252 special attack, and four defense. And this thing, even with base 110 special attack, which, I mean, like, it's not screaming sweeper sweeper, but the thing with pixelate, stab, pixie boosted, uh, Pixie Plate Boosted, sorry, Hyper Voice is going to do a shit ton of damage. So lastly, we got Ampharos. And Ampharos is, like, is the go-to Mega for this team, and it does so well, as you've seen in the battle. So we got Ampharos Sight as its item to allow for you to be able to achieve Mega Evolution. We got Static, which allows for, uh, any contact moves to put or I should say, sorry about that, I got mixed up. So, Static provides a 30% chance of the opponent being paralyzed should it make contact with you. So that's really awesome. <laughs> so, when I made that switch into Metagross and when it had a chance to attack me, um, it could have uh, potentially been paralyzed had it made contact. So we got Thunderbolt as really, really powerful stab and a kick-ass as hell animation too. We got... Dragon Pulse as Stab, and we got Focus Blast as a way to deal with any Steel-type Pokemon that would otherwise wall you for Thunderbolt and Dragon Pulse. And then we got Protect, because Protect, like I said, pretty standard, but also a must-have on a team like this. And then the EV Spread, so we got a Quiet Nature to boost that special attack. We got 252 HP, 252 Special Attack, and 4 Special Defense. And that base 115 special attack, I should let you know, suddenly gets increased to base 165 in special attack. And fully invested? My god, like this thing is just so damn powerful. Like, it doesn't need any boost to be powerful, man. It's so good! So good! So, that pretty much wraps up the team and actually wraps up this video. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please feel free to give this a thumbs up. And also be sure to rate, comment, share this video, share this channel, and subscribe to Mega Crasher and the community today. Because you already know the deal by now, my friends. When we are a community, tightly packed and tightly knit as one. Oh, baby, you know that we shine brighter than the sun. Woo! And brighter than the moon. Come on. Woo! So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next upload! Woohoo! Triple battles for the win! Trick room, baby! I love it!